Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here with an update to Bastide from Medieval Nexus. And first off, of course, my great thanks to the guys at Medieval Nexus for offering me a key to this game to have a look at and produce some hopefully interesting, entertaining and maybe even informative content for you when you're reviewing whether you'd like to uh, invest time and money in the game. And we're still very much at early access, which is why <laughs> I'm producing this episode here and now, because, as I said at the beginning, things have changed. We have been updated. We've had at least one update since the recording of the last video. And a, a quick summary of the things that have changed. Um, I think there have been a couple of tweaks since that. They issue a weekly update notice, but they do actually update potentially every day, but certainly two or three times. Uh, so far uh, during each week. So trees now will produce more than one wood. So when you send someone off to cut down a tree, depending on its size, you can get up to three wood out of that tree. When you're placing a building, as we'll see, you can rotate it continuously by using the E and Q keys. So it's rather than just sort of incrementally press E, press E, press E, and it just turns around a little bit, which is nice. Um, and some news of upcoming features. In the next week, we should be seeing the tailor and the blacksmith buildings in the game. And there's a possibility we might get autosave. And talking of save, look at this. Yes, you don't get just three slots of saving now. You can save, oh, many games. I've not actually tried, <laughs> honest. Um, but you can now actually uh, create new saves uh, each time you want to go on. You're not limited to those those three. But one thing you can see here is, what's this place one? You might think to yourself, I'll tell you. When you create a new game, you can give your village a name. And I called mine place one. Because my medieval citizens, my colonists of this open world, didn't have a great deal of imagination. So they've just called this place ooh, one. At least it proves they can count, you see. They do have some knowledge of mathematics, which is nice. Okay, So what I'm going to do, in fact, uh, is rather than replaying the whole start of the game again, because my previous save games are no longer valid, that's the beauty of early access. You can play and play and play, and then they'll produce a big update, and you've got to start again. But hey, that helps you learn and understand the game better, so I'm not going to complain about that. Rather than going through that whole initial building phase again, I'll get my new village, Place One, <laughs> fabulous name, um, to a, the kind of same state that I was at the end of the last episode. So bear with me, a quick video effect, and we'll be right back into the game. And here we are in Place One. Uh, and it's pretty much the same. We have three buildings. The initial building to start with, which I think was that one, wasn't it? That's a warehouse. No, that one. And these two new thatched huts, each uh, having three people inside. Uh, we're waiting for one more person to arrive, but apart from that, we have a stockpile, a warehouse, we have a cattle pasture, and rather than sheep, I've actually I've found a second chicken which hopefully will turn up here in the pasture sometime soon. I think I did send my farmer here, Laurel, to go and find it and capture it. Uh, if she hasn't, I'll, um, I'll deal with that in a moment. The other fabulous thing about this up latest update to the game is they've added keys to control the speed. So it's not just spacebar pause and then unpause and then move your mouse around down here and try and hit the plus or minus. The one, two, three and zero keys now give you game speed. Actually, does four work? No, four doesn't work. It only goes up to three, which is fine, which is plenty fast enough for slow old me. The other thing which you hopefully can see here is the texturing of the landscape is so much better now. The graphics are that little bit improved and that much nicer. In the previous up, previous version, there was this really sort of awful, awful obvious um, steration. Is that the right word or am I making that up? Stripes anyway, uh, across the landscape as if you could sort of see where they'd photoshopped and merged and brushed and stuff. And it just looked a bit ugly. 
Close up it was still fine, of course. Okay, so we have one chicken in our pasture. We have a forest hut there. We have 15 food, 21 stone. We're okay. One thing I noticed, actually, while I was sort of just getting prepared for this recording, was that time moves on at one day equals one month. So each time we go into night time, we're at the end of one month. And when we wake up, it's the next month. And we're currently in May. So we're on our second day effect, sort of, of, of the game. Okay, now what I want to do, we still haven't got fast mouse movement. I'd like to be able to sort of drag the mouse or move the mouse around and get faster movement across the landscape. But we've got the WASD keys, which as I've said, I'm not a great fan of, but there you are. Okay, let's collect that stone. And what I'm thinking is we might want to actually buy any what of animals we got up here. Are these pigs? That's a pig. That's uh, what is that? What is that? Oh, you're a pig. You're a goat. You're a cow. Oh, let's hunt it. Why are we hunting that cow? Have we filled our pasture? Surely not. Seven of ten. Hmm. Maybe they need to be. Ah, oh, we'll capture you then. Uh, maybe they need to be in a, within a certain range. Perhaps that's interesting. Maybe that's that's that's. I think that's new. Uh, and that's another sheep, presumably. Yep. Actually, what I'll do. Which I think we've got a sheep closer to hand to show this off. Uh, I did kind of promise that we would do this in the second episode, which we're now on. Let's have a look at this sheep here and hunt it. So let's get our people. Is that someone going to hunt that sheep? Oh, he's running away. Why? Why? Uh, there is... Ooh, that was quick and easy, dear me. The last time I did this, they took three shots. Honestly, obviously, fair or fey, fair, fair, I'm not sure. Interesting name. Um... Is obviously a very good shot. I didn't think you could see the arrow, but I definitely saw a bow in her hands. Did you? So that's good. But the issue I have is I don't think anyone comes to collect these sheep or these dead creatures. They just hang around lying on the ground for no good purpose. So I think we may need... There's another cow. Can I capture you? I can. Uh, we may need a hunter to hunt animals. Or a hunter's hut, whatever it's called. Uh, okay, right, what I want to do before we run out is I want to build a... Oh, that's interesting, yes. Uh, on these dialogue boxes here, if I click hunt... Yeah, but if it, if the, the mouse, the focus that you put the, the cursor on, if I click that now... Pressing the space bar toggles it on and off. So that, that's a slight sort of UI glitch, I think. So that's something they, I'd like them to take care of. So hi, Medieval Nexus guys, if you're watching. Um, be nice if the mouse and the space bar didn't do the same thing. It's, I know, it's, it's a kind of trivial coding thing, which is so easy to uh, to get into the game. to, to or, or to any software product, to be honest. It's not just games. I was looking for another chicken. Well, what are you? Let's zoom in so we can see, shall we? Oh, you're a goat. Okay, we won't... Uh, we'll collect that stone, though. We've got nine people. We have three labourers still. Okay, that should be fine to do what I want to do. Oh, there's cows everywhere. Have they increased the, um, what's it called, the spawn rate of, uh, of animals? That'd be nice. Uh, but what I wanted to do was build uh, a... Mine. So that takes 15 wood. Oh, that's all my wood. Uh, yikes. That, that's rather a lot, isn't it? Uh, okay. How, how productive is my forest hut? Where is my forest hut? It's down there. It is. Zero. Ugh. We have got two foresters. So they should be able to. Oh, there's another cow. I'll capture you as well. That should take me pretty close to my maximum for that pasture. Um, I'm going to build, yeah, I'm going to build the stone mine. 
I think. I want that ready so that I don't suddenly come a cropper and realise I need stone and I don't have any more rock outcrops to uh, to crack open. Okay, so this gives me two locations for the stone mine. Um, did raise this on the Steam forums for the game. Uh, but you can't tell what resource uh, bronze, iron or stone is mined. Uh, at the moment every mine can mine everything effectively uh, from what we're told. So there, there is no classification yet properly for the mining system. So we'll get that built. I dare say that will be built tomorrow. As night descends Approaching our maximum for the cattle pasture. There definitely was another chicken around here somewhere, but I'm not sure I'm going to see it in this gloom. So let's speed our way through the night and make our way to that. You're a goat. Go away. <laughs> make our way through the night and into the new day. Okay, and there's our cows. We've got nine in there now. That's good. Are any producing? They're not producing anything yet. Milk nor nothing. Uh, where are my people going? Ah, we've got two wood. Does that mean that my forest hut is actually producing lumber at this point? Where the heck is it gone? There it is. Two wood. Excellent. Right, so it does work. Splendid. We can obviously still still cut down trees. You need someone to work at the mine. Uh, we can have three people. If I put two people in there, which means I've got one labourer left to do. Well, that's fair. Who's our, you know, very efficient hunter? So it might be time. Ooh, hang on. I've just noticed our food has gone down to twelve. Ah, okay. They're mostly eating meat. Is good. And the thing is, what buildings do we have open to us when it comes to food? Got the hunter's hut. They hunt animals, and we have got a bakery to make bread. Uh, we need a mill first to convert it into flour. Okay, we're going to need a lot of wood though. Okay, was, was building the stone mine at this early in the game a mistake or not? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, everything else is there. Everything else is still off limits, as it were. There's, there's no obvious sort of get out the menu. You have to click back there. It'd be nice if, there's, if you could sort of right click or escape or something to get out of the of those menus. But it, to close the dialog boxes generally would be nice. Okay, so th through all my talking, uh, some might say waffling, we may, we are now in another day. We're now in June. We have 10 of our cows. I hope whoever's in charge of that is actually going to, to milk these cows. I think they, they are supposed to produce milk. Now, there is definitely another chicken around here somewhere. There must be. Aha, there you are. Capture you. It's so small. So small, so quaint, so cute. And hopefully productive when it comes to eggs and the like. Okay, we're waiting for our guys to produce more wood. Okay, so the chicken hasn't turned up in the pasture yet. I'm sure it will. Uh, let's actually get our one free labourer. Yeah, fair to chop down some trees for us. Who are you? You're Alice. Oh, you're one of our foresters. They do walk very slowly when you've got them on one speed. So if I make them two speed... They arrive earlier. So who are you? 
Oh, you're the labourer. Oh, you were clap chopping up that stone, weren't you? So we've got three wood at the moment. How much is this going to give me? You see? It's given me... There's an extra log there. So that's going to give me at least two. Or probably two. Okay, so we're getting... Not sure what state the wheat is in. But it's growing. We have two chickens. No eggs. Oh, il oh 11 cows. Uh, perhaps we should kill one. Let's hunt you down. Now, who's going to do that? Is it Layla? Are you going to slaughter one of your charges? Not quite sure where, what you're about to do. Who are you? Oh, William. Ah, okay. What are you going to do? Oh. Oh, that's good. Food has gone up but to 14. Ah, right. Four meat. Right, so killing the cow, I think, must have given us... Must have given us some meat. That is excellent. Still nothing. Ooh. Yeah, we've got three meat. Excellent. And whatever that is. Uh, that's not cloth. Presumably it's leather. Be nice if there's a tool tip to tell me. I'm going to guess, seeing as it's come from, from cattle, that it will be leather. Okay, any more around here in terms of. It does, I think, generally speaking, the, the graphics do look that much nicer in this update. Which is very nice indeed. Okay, we could do with cutting down some more trees. Now, our forester will be looking at that end of the of our land. We'll take you down. Get some more there. Yeah, the trouble is by building that mine, I've now kind of stymied myself that I can't build much else. Uh, can we capture that cow? We'll capture that cow. Could capture that one as well. I wonder if they wander off and don't come back. I, I wonder what the the process is for respawning animals. Okay, we might as well kill another one. Otherwise, we'll be. I'm not sure what happens if we overflow. Are you a person or a chicken? Another chicken. We'll capture you. Now we're coming down to the end of our third day as uh, June comes to a close. Not the most productive of days, perhaps, but, you know, we're getting there. How much is a new hut for more people? Uh, that's 15 wood. Mm. Yeah, I, I, to me, I, I don't necessarily want more people at this point because food is potentially going to be a bit scarce. Actually, how full are you? Hunger. I'm not sure what that graph means. Is it, f is that filling up to say, if that fills up with blue, are they very hungry? Or if it empties of blue, are they very hungry? Interesting. Not sure. Chickens are being very unproductive at the moment. Cows are working quite nicely. We've got nine meat so far out of them. And I've only killed two, I'm sure. Interesting. Okay, so as day dawns again, I noticed that our food supply went down once more. So actually, if we just stop these people for a second. Ah, right. Lorelei has no blue bar on her hunger. Isabella does. Okay, I'm still none the wiser. Now your health is 100 and happiness 99. So does that give me any clue as to... No. No, that'd be nice. <laughs> One other thing I have noticed 
is that we now have four chickens. I'm sure I only caught three, but whatever. And we seem to have another cow in the pasture. Now it's possible that I captured one and it just took a long time to arrive. Or maybe they're breeding. Which would be interesting. Okay, so our people we still have. If you have one, one labourer still. What are all these people doing? Who are all these people? Oh, you're farmers. Why? why? I'm not quite sure why they were running. Ah! We're producing two wheat so far. Excellent. And our cows are down. Right, okay. Do we need another one? I think we probably do. Let's cut down some more wood just to help our foresters out while I go scavenging for cattle. Oh, there's some. Or well, one anyway. There you go. We'll capture you. Any sign of more chickens? This appears to be a theme, I think, of this series. We'll call it Chase the Chicken. I remember spending a chunk of the last episode <laughs> trying to find chickens on this landscape and failing miserably. Oh, there's a log by the look of it. Oh, chicken! Come home to daddy. Lay me your lovely eggs. And failing that, I'll take some meat off you. 14 wood, doing quite well. Okay, now all our people bar one has a job at the moment. Now, if I go into the food, the hunter's hut, doesn't tell me how many people it needs in there. Could just be the one, could be two. So I have a suspicion it might be better to actually uh, actually get some more people in, in the encampment into place one. Yeah, our chickens are doing nice. Oh, we've got three eggs. Excellent. So my resource list here is showing three eggs, five meat, 25, oh, that's interesting, 25 food, I'm guessing that is, uh, 17, that's, ah, okay, so we're eating raw wheat, are we, I think, so I'm, I'm working, I'm thinking this 25 is a, over 26, yeah, it's overall for wheat, meat, and eggs. I dare say that would include bread as well at some point. Okay, right, uh, housing. Uh, it's 15 for another wooden hut. Or 10 for a two person uncomfortable one. I like these, so let's try this. Uh, the collision detection has improved a little bit. Um, but it is still possible to build buildings on top of each other. <laughs> so uh, we're going to try and avoid doing that because that's a waste of money. Oh, the uh, update notes did say that we get 50% uh, of our construction materials back. So there you are. I'm just holding the E key down to spin it round. Spin it right round. Like a record. A uh, bit more. There we go. We'll have you there. Okay. Oh, there's another cow. Come here. Right, we'll be able to kill another cow. We've got six chickens. I am. I have a suspicion. Either the eggs are hatching and we're getting new chickens. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I'm liking this. The chickens are suddenly appearing all over the place. Did I just capture a new cow? 
I wonder, actually, because I have a suspicion I was over capacity here at one point earlier when I wasn't talking, so behind one of those visual effects, um, that it went down again automatically. So maybe they kill when they're oversupplied. Again, if you've got any thoughts on that, any information, any guidance, it would be very much appreciated. So 18 wheat from there. Okay, we're down to six wood. Uh, where's our stone mine? So you've gathered just two. Ah, yeah, so there you see it. Stone, bronze and iron. Uh, we could improve that to three people, I think, at some point soon. Or we could... Oh, there's some more rock there, which is easy to gather from. So we'll just send our labourer out to do that. Once they finish building our new home. Well, that's been finished. Yep, nobody there yet. Yeah, we've got nine out of twelve people. So more people will be turning up soon. We've got 40 food now. Oh, this, this is getting fabulous. Uh, another chicken. Capture you. You walked right into the pen. <laughs> you careless. Uh, yeah, this is all looking good. I think we'll call this the episode uh, a day here. We'll wrap this one up here. So as you can see, lots of development still going on in the game. Well, it needs it, obviously. It is, as we've said, very early access. But Medieval Nexus, the developing team or person, not quite sure how big the team is, are doing a grand job of keep, keep the, keeping the game moving, keeping the development going and providing updates to us on a very regular basis so far. So we've got improvements in the UI, the speed control. We've got uh, trees providing more wood. The graphics have been been tweaked and improved. They have also made a few other minor changes to the UI and stuff, so that's good. Oh, hang on, I just noticed two people are ill. I'm going to need a healer's hut at some point, aren't I? How, how long is that going to... is that resources? Uh, miscellaneous. Oh, I can build you now. Uses herbs to create medicine. Right, that's what we might need to do in the next episode. Now, from what we've seen, if people die, they are replaced. But obviously it does leave you, during that time, with a gap in your population and the people who can do jobs. So uh, we may... Uh, we'll see how we deal with that. So there may well be a third episode of this series. We're not sure how, sh how long it's going to last, this, uh, this particular uh, Let's Play series. But for as long as we're getting updates to the game, which provide some interesting new features to it, then I will certainly keep playing it. And uh, every now and then, hopefully sort of within my general schedule of uh, uploads and, uh, and videos being published, uh, we'll, uh, we'll add one of these to that list. But thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Bastide and this uh, look at the continued improvements in the game. And if you've enjoyed this, it'd be lovely to hear from you. Either a like would be great. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Better than that, though, would be... Oh, there's a light. Oh, hang on. What does that mean? Uh, I think she might be hungry. So maybe that's a symbol. We've not seen those before. Wow. Cool. Um, so where's, where's the other animal farmer? You can just make them out in this <laughs> awful nighttime gloom. Uh, you must be here somewhere. There must be another person somewhere on the planet. Oh, there's some. There's somebody else there as well. Yeah, you're empty. Your hunger bar there is empty. I'm assuming. Like, see, you can't move the screen around while you've got a person displayed and highlighted as you're showing their details. You've killed one. You haven't killed anything. So maybe you're not killing the chickens. Oh well. Uh, is that another person there? Yes, it is. Uh, right, so you've got a bit of a blue bar, so you're not starving. Ah, yes, starving. Two people. Right, excellent. 
So that kind of adds up. It's nice. Again, I'm not sure if they were there before, but we didn't have any starving people uh, previously. So that's a nice, uh, a nice addition. So you can sort of clear, clearly see who needs attention. But can you address them individually? I don't know. Can you get them to eat individually? Difficult to tell. But uh, you might want to take care of these people somehow. So there's loads of things uh, in the game still to look at. And obviously loads more to, to see coming in the future developments from the, from the team at Medieval Nexus. Um, but for now, thank you so much for joining me today. If, if you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A like would be lovely. You know, just click on the old thumbs up button. Even better, why not drop something into the comments box below? Any tips, ideas, suggestions, thoughts about what the game looks like so far and how it might develop, your, your feelings about it so far, or indeed criticisms of what the heck I'm doing and things I've missed. Just, as I said, drop it into the comments below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already done so, you can subscribe to the channel. You can do that now, you know, and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. Okay, there are five people starving now, so I'm going to go home and have my own dinner and uh, see if these people can get themselves fed. Yeah, the food appears to be going down. But anyway, from me, Ajax Post here in Bastide, until the next time, bye-bye for now.